This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are water soluble pigments that appear red, blue, or purple depending on the pH. They belong to a class of molecules called flavonoids. As with all biological pigments, they have highly conjugated systems with delocalized pi electrons that absorb light in the visible region of the spectrum. Here we have an example of an anthocyanin molecule. The polar hydroxyl groups allow the molecule to form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. This explains their solubility in water. Next, we look at the use of anthocyanins as pH indicators. So here we can see the colors of an anthocyanin, which is cyanidin, at different pH values. Cyanidin is red at low pH, that's a pH less than 4. It's violet at pH 6 to 7, and blue at higher pH, for example, 7 to 8. At low pH, the cyanidin molecule is protonated and has a positive charge. As the concentration of hydrogen ions decreases, we can see that the molecule becomes deprotonated and has a negative charge at high pH. As the molecule becomes deprotonated, we have a change in the amount of conjugation in the molecule. Cyanidin has less conjugation at low pH, so green light is absorbed and red light is transmitted. At high pH, cyanidin has more conjugation, so orange light is absorbed and blue light is transmitted. So as the amount of conjugation in the molecule increases, we can see that the wavelength of light absorbed also increases from green light at low pH to orange light at higher pH. And finally, we look at the stability of anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are stable and the most highly colored at low pH and low temperature. Anthocyanins form deeply colored coordination complexes with Fe3 plus and Al3 plus ions, a source of which can be metal cans. This can cause a discoloration in canned fruit. Anthocyanins also become less stable when exposed to heat causing a loss of color and browning.